to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Hannah, and uh, if you want to be subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification button if you want to be notified whenever I upload new videos. So in this video today, I'm going to be doing a full face of Say's Lady Makeup. I'm going to be reviewing them and hopefully do a little bit of wear test as well. My face has been toned and moisturized so I'm just going to do the eyes first just to be safe in, in case if there's going to be any fallout so they have a smudge proof eyeshadow primer it looks like this for the box and this is how the packaging looks like so I'm just going to do one side of my face with a primer the other side won't be primed just to see if it's uh, effective in any way Okay, so that's one pump. Let's see if I can control and do it just a little. Yep, I can fully control it, but this is one full pump. So I have to just apply it with a finger. So that's what I'm going to do. But I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's some sort of patchiness here. Like it leaves off some sort of weird texture so hopefully that doesn't affect the makeup in any way so I only got one eyeshadow palette this is how the box looks like and this is how the palette looks like it's pretty simple and straightforward these are the shades that I chose uh, they also have a mirror and I actually like the mirror it doesn't look like you know like one of those fake mirrors Watches. I also bought some of their Shimmer, Shine, and Waterproof Liquid Eyeshadow. Um, all of their boxes look pretty much similar. I only got four shades of the liquid shadows. Um, let me just swatch it up for ya. These are the swatches of the liquid eyeshadows that I bought. doesn't look to be like intense enough so let's just put it on let's see what happens Also, just you know, just for, con for consistency sake, I'm going to put the primer in the right eye. I mean, the right side as well. This is like the packaging. So here's the foundation. I'm not sure if it's going to match. It's not that thick, and it's also not that liquidy. So it's a bit darker on me, a bit orangey. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. I did buy concealer, it pretty much looks like the same one, the same bottle. I'll try to mix them and see what happens. So I think this is better. I'll just paint some on, the half 
my face. I do have a sponge from Sace as well. It's it, This is already damp. It's honestly not super soft. Not what I'm used to, so, so I don't really know if I'm gonna keep on going with this sponge. Maybe I'll switch in a couple. So I'm not too crazy about this, so I'm gonna switch to my um, all covered sponge. Heaps better. I think there's a white cast in the camera showing, but it looks like a good match in real life. And I'm gonna use a brush on this other side just to see if it um, works well with the brush as well. So my camera keeps on cutting me off and overheating. So this is one layer. You can see that my um, breakout here isn't covered. I still have a little bit of redness peeking through. So it's only medium coverage for me. Let me try and see if I could add more. Covered it well. Not that great, but a little bit. Yeah. The redness now is okay. I'm also not sure if you can see the pores right here. In real life, they are pretty much visible. It doesn't look like it was emphasized by the foundation though. It just It's just there. So on camera, I can see that my face looks pretty ghostly. But in real life, it truly, truly doesn't look like that. It looks, it matches perfectly. Uh, I really hope that the camera catches it, but I have these like, it looks like patches. It's peeling off. It's usually here. It's found here and here. So I'm not sure if it's the sponge or the primer, so I'm going to give the product a chance um, and I'm not going to judge right now based off of that. So I'm just going to take it off and redo maybe this side of the face with just the brush and no primer. So let's redo this. <laughs> I removed the face makeup, did not use the primer, and I did the extra step and uh, exfoliated. I don't really have any um, peeling going on except in this area, in this nose area. So if you see any like um, patches of skin here, that's perfectly fine. I tried to go over some foundation here just to like you know touch up overall so it seems like it will move the first layer of foundation I think it sets really fast which is why it did that because when I went over it again parang my you know when you have you put glue and you try to like move it around when it's just super tacky so it looks like that um, I removed a little bit of it with wet wipe and went over it to fix it so okay na siya. I'm gonna use concealer so hopefully naman hopefully cross fingers that it won't do the same thing so looking at the concealer that I place I just place a tiny amount here the under eye area um, it's fine so far walang um, foundation and then a drag. My skin actually looks pretty dewy and I think it's supposed to be matte, right? <laughs> but that's fine. And I just have the loose um, powder. Um, I have a contour palette here and it just looks like this. 
Um, I'm gonna try and use this one, and if it doesn't work, I'll mix the two. Now let's go to the blush palette. So it looks like this. Um, one has shimmers, the other two do not. From what I've noticed from their um, formula, their powder formula, it's very pigmented. So make sure to be a bit like-handed as well as making sure to tap excess product because she pigmented. Let's go to brows. I have two right here and I'll do the lighter just to see maybe if that works. This definitely reminds me of the NYX um, brow gel. Definitely warmer and lighter than I would like. So I'll probably go over this with the other shade. So definitely like this shade a ton more. And the brush is actually pretty okay. And I'm going to be highlighting, so this is what I have. So hopefully it looks fine. Let's swatch it on the back of my hand. It's very golden, so hopefully it's okay. I'm asking tail. Let's do lips. This is the shade that I got. Very Hannah. That's easy to apply. It has a little bit of weird smell, like chemically, but it doesn't really bother me. The rest of the items, I didn't notice any smell of some sort, so that's good. And it's pretty late. It's 3.10 in the afternoon. Uh, let me just give you my first impressions as of the moment, pre-wear test. Uh, let's go in chronological order. For the eyeshadow primer, I see no difference in regards to pigmentation, but let's see in regards to um, longevity and smudging later on. For the eyeshadows, they were honestly pretty pigmented, easy to blend, easy to use. Um, just make sure to top off any excess because again, it's pretty pigmented. The liquid eyeshadows, they're not um, pretty glittery, they're really just shimmers or you know like a liquid um, base with a shimmer base. So I think it's fine, I enjoyed using it. The eyeliner isn't very pigmented but it did the job. It didn't really drag the first layer when I go over it to build the pigmentation so it's fine. For the face primer, I'm not really sure if I'm loving it because uh, it does say that it um, refines the pores or minimizes the pores. From what I saw in the first application, there was no difference and I'm not sure if it caused the whole movement and everything but I don't know, just to be safe, I don't like it. For the foundation, right now, let me zoom you, it was just a couple of minutes of wear. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but so I brought the lights low. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the pores, they're emphasized. Like, I know I have big pores, but these are super big pores. Usually my pores are here. Um, but here I can see the big ones, and usually I can't see that, so yikes. But let's see if it wears great throughout the day. For the contour palette, I think it's fine. To me, it's too cool. So I should have, I probably should have gotten a different shade, but I was able to adjust it somehow. So it's fine. It's very pigmented again. So make sure to tap off excess product. The blush, same thing. It's also okay for me. The highlighter, it's also fine, honestly. I wish I had other shades, but 
as of the moment, it's good. I'm good with it. It's fine. Brows were easy to use. Very reminiscent. Am I using that right? But yeah, I I remembered the NYX brow gel, my holy grail, my past holy grail. So that was cool. Don't need a lot and I don't know how it's going to wear throughout the day, but I achieved the brows that I wanted. The lips, right now they're, honestly they're lightweight, very matte as expected, kiss proof, and I can see the cracks on my lips because I have pretty, um, I have pretty cracky, crusty, dry lips, but it doesn't feel drying, but it doesn't also feel hydrating, it's just kind of normal. So, um, let's just see what happens throughout the day, it's about again, 3 p.m., I'll check back with you later so time check it's 6 47 you can see it three hours pa lang. so just to let you know um lips look pretty fine but i didn't drink or eat yet um brows are fine the eyes are fine yung highlighter nandyan pa rin. um the blush a little bit still there as well as the contour the face though, let me zoom you in. I'm not sure if you can see this clearly, but some areas here, it's breaking apart already. My pores, they're super emphasized. Like, they're really saying, hi, hello, they are screaming. Around the mouth, the foundation has worn off as well. So, itong chin and the mouth area. And again, I haven't eaten or drink anything I haven't drunk drunk yeah I didn't drink or eat yet so as you can see um, the rest of the face looks good it's just the pores here it's super emphasized now around the mouth it has worn off a little bit here also a little makeup has worn off and honestly I'm not I don't want to continue wearing the makeup throughout the day I'm still gonna head out to eat so I'll just take off the face makeup and then I will come back later on with my final check-in and final thoughts on everything just because I want to test out if the brows will hold up, the eyes will hold up, and if the lips will hold up. So yeah, I'll see you later, especially since I'm going to go out to eat. So I'll see if the lips will be, you know, good or not. Okay, see ya! 10.20, so mga 7 hours. The brows look fine, the eyes look fine, my little smudging lang dito. But I think that's the mascara and I kind of rubbed it a little so I don't think it's the eyeliner. Lips, wala na siya. I ate chicken wings. And I guess that's it. So, rundown of the items. Um, the eyeshadow primer, I don't think it's necessary the shadows look pretty much equally the same and pigmentation or longevity wise it's the same it's okay the eyeshadows I, re I do recommend the eyeshadows uh, they're very pigmented just make sure to tap off the access access excess and the liquid eyeshadow as well I liked it the eyeliner, it's so-so. It's okay if you get it. If you don't, it's okay as well. It's not really that pigmented. But if you go over it, you know, a couple of times, it does build up. The eyebrows, I recommend the eyebrows. The face primer, I'm not exactly sure if I do or I don't. I'm leaning towards I don't. Just because of how the foundation performed um, when I had it on. But again, maybe it was the foundation, uh, which brings me to the foundation. It's a no-go for me. It moves around a lot, and it breaks apart. It breaks up, so it's a no-go for the foundation. Setting powder, the loose setting powder, I think it was fine. The concealer, I think it was also fine. For the contour, highlighter, and the blush, I recommend those as well. I like them. The lipstick, you would need to reapply if you eat or drink. Throughout the um, time that I used it, it didn't feel 
drying, it didn't feel tight, and actually I didn't feel like I had any lipstick on, so it was good, uh, it was transfer proof. So that's my overall thoughts on the products that I used for today. If I would recommend the brand as a whole, it's a 50-50 to be honest, just because there are products that are definitely a hit, some are a definite miss. Well, at least for me, it's a miss. You can go ahead and check them out though. The prices are pretty reasonable. They're pretty low. So if it doesn't work out for you, then it really doesn't hurt the bank. But if it does work for you, then it's such a steal. So if you were planning on trying out um, Sales Lady, but you were still kind of balling on a budget, then definitely go for the brows and the eyeshadows. I think they're great. The lipsticks too, they're cool. The rest of the stuff, um, again, I already mentioned what I didn't like, so that's an obvious why I'm saying pass on those stuff. But for the rest of the products that did kind of work out but weren't exactly exceptional, it's just that I could go for it, but there are other products that I would choose over theirs. So that's my first impression and wear test on the products. Let me know if there are other uh, brands you'd like for me to try out. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. And I've those you bananas. Make banana pies and I hope you keep staying true. Bye!